So I've cut the hole for the new dash 16 orb fitting and this is the new bung that has to be welded on so there's the hole. There's the old one, I'm just blocking it off. Dash 12 is fine. I'm going to turn this down and uh, make it only about three quarters of an inch high. It doesn't need to be very uh, thick for this so the closer it is the better it is from a from an interference uh, perspective under the hood so I'm gonna just put that on the lathe and turn down the bung and then uh, get it welded in tomorrow and then put the radiator back in the car okay so I just cut this uh, cut this in half and uh, it's uh, it's gonna work fine so just tomorrow it'll be on so there's the new bung that's welded in and I uh, got my friend Danny Baudry to do it from ProGas just because it's a bit tricky. I'm not really strong on aluminum yet so yeah, he's got it in there and uh, it uh, looks pretty much leak free to me so we'll pressure test the whole thing when it's all together. So there's the Dash 16 that's coming out of the cylinder head and it now connects down to the bottom Dash 16 which clears the uh, fan shroud and uh, no problem. And then the Dash 12, what I've done is I just clearanced. It's got an air gap to the, um, the alternator. I can move it up out of the way further if I have to, but it's uh, it's clear. And that runs across and connects to there. So I can now start assembling all my, uh, my hose fittings for the coolant. And then I'll pressure test. That's it. So we've got this um, organized. I'll finish the plumbing later. I gotta go on another quick trip, but got all the hoses for the major cooling stuff done. And um, I'll finish more of this uh, over the next uh, week and a half. So got a bit of travel to do, and then when I'm back, I'll keep cutting hoses and fittings and all that stuff and making mounting brackets, but it's coming together.